Hey guys, it's Jake here with eTrailer. Today we're gonna talk about the different ways that you can maintain and charge your battery on your dump trailer. Um, this is a question that we get a lot because what happens is, is people will use their dump trailer all day long on the job site or if you just have your own personal dump trailer. Um, what, they're, what they're doing is they're using the dump trailer which is depleting the energy in the battery and you have to have a way to recharge that because let's be honest, if your battery is dead on your dump trailer, it means you're not able to work. The first and most basic way that most people don't even think about is going to be on your seven pole plug. You will have a 12 volt accessory wire that you need to make sure is, um, is connected to your battery. So on one of these prongs, there is a, it's, it's a prong for the 12 volt accessory. It runs to your battery and you need to make sure that's run to the positive post on your battery. This is going to take the power from your battery on the vehicle you're towing with and take energy from the alternator and send it back to the battery. Now with that, you're going to lose energy from the alternator. So you're not going to get that 13.2 or three um, volts coming back here because the wire gauge is so small that you do lose um, some of that voltage by the time you get back here. So just keep in mind, you're not getting the same charge rate as your, your vehicle battery is um, when it's charging um, the onboard battery. It's going to be much less, which is why it's not a very efficient way to be able to maintain your battery. The other thing is, is you're going to have to drive for a very long time to be able to put that energy back into your battery. Even if you just dump it once or twice, it's going to take a very long time to be able to replenish that because the dump trailer is going to use it much faster than your truck is going to be able to charge it. The second way is going to be an Anderson style plug. Um, and you may have seen it on like plow trucks or work trucks, stuff like that, that they need um, a higher power output at either the rear or the front of their vehicle. Um, the plugs usually look like this. They'll have a red um, end to it. And basically what this is, it's just an improved version of the um, seven-way plug itself. The way that it's improved is that it uses a much larger gauge wire. Usually they're about a two gauge or a zero gauge wire. And it runs from the battery on your vehicle back to the back of your vehicle. And then you'll have another connection, which we actually have on our dump trailer. Um, that you connect here and then you connect to the battery on your dump trailer. Um, again, it's just going to limit the amount of voltage drop because we've increased the size or the gauge of the wire. Now, one of the biggest reasons why people will add an Anderson plug um, is because their truck just cannot keep up because of that voltage drop. Um, another big reason is if you already have other trailers that you have other accessories on, um, you know, maybe you have a big, um, toy hauler or something that you like to haul side-by-sides in or whatever, um, but it has an onboard battery too for its jack system and all that. Um, this is really nice because you can, all you have to do is buy the accessories um, that go with this and then you can add this Anderson wiring to all your other trailers. So if you find yourself needing more power than what your vehicle can charge your battery on your dump trailer, um, you're going to need to look into getting a DC to DC charger. Now, this is by no means the only DC to DC charger that is available. Um, it's just one of the best that we have seen performance wise. Um, and this is the Red Arc BC DC charger. And essentially what it does is it's going to take that weak signal we were talking about. By the time the signal gets from the battery, it's going to increase the voltage from the vehicle battery to the dump trailer battery. The other nice thing about it too is it's going to have a solar input on it. So if you decide to put a small solar panel or something like that, um, it's going to do the same thing with the solar uh, power. So the solar comes in, this is going to increase the power that is coming into it. It's going to increase it and send it to your battery. It's just going to be a faster, more efficient way to charge your battery um, while you're driving, while your trailer's sitting still. Um, it's going to do all the work for you so that you don't have to worry about it. With that being said, this is also designed to work for a bank of batteries. So it, it'll take that voltage again and send it to all the batteries that are in your bank and keep your batteries nice and charged. So on the topic of solar panels, um, solar panels or solar battery boxes are going to be a great option for storage. Um, and by storage, I don't mean just the long months that you're not using it. I'm talking even, you know, 
if you're not using your dump trailer for a couple of weeks. A solar panel is going to provide a small amount of amperage, obviously from energy from the sun, and add that charge to your battery while you're not using your trailer. Um, this is going to give people a lot of peace of mind that your trailer is going to be ready for you and charged up whenever you need it. Um, the one thing I will say, and I'm, I noticed this with this battery yesterday, the fuse was blown on it and we're not really sure when it was blown. So that is one thing you do need to check every now and then. Um, just check the fuse to make sure it's not blown so that your solar panel continues to charge your battery. Now when it comes to AC to DC power, that is going to be a charger plugged into a wall outlet and then connected to the battery on your dump trailer. Um, there's several different options. Um, we have larger ones that will charge at a little bit quicker rate and smaller ones that are designed to be mounted inside your battery box. These are designed so if you need a fast, efficient charge, this is gonna be the fastest out of all the charging that we've talked about. This is gonna be a much more efficient way to get that battery charged overnight um, so that it's ready for you in the morning. Another thing is, is if you just want to maintain your batteries, um, this is another good way in the winter time. A lot of people like removing their batteries from their equipment if they know they're not gonna use it, put it into a more climate controlled space, and then put a charger on it till it's full and then you're ready to go for the season whenever you decide to start using it again. Um, the other benefit about these, just a little side note, is that you can use it for anything. You can use it for your vehicle, you can use it for any other equipment that you might have, tractors, lawnmowers, anything. I will say something that we have, it is a, um, a plug port, and what it is essentially, it just connects this, you connect the female end of this plug, to the male end of a small battery charger. This allows you to mount the battery charger on the inside of a storage compartment or in the battery box itself and leave it in there, attach it to the terminals, then you attach, plug this into your charger and then this, you will drill a hole on the outside of your battery box and then you'll have an outlet. So then all you have to do is run an extension cord out to your trailer, open this plug up and plug your trailer in. Well guys, hopefully this video was able to help you decide what charging method is going to be best for you and your dump trailer. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below and we'll see you next time.